Why are the megatrends important? It's interesting because actually the megatrends have been around for a long time, right? The, the, the core of a megatrend is that it's a thing that is big, it's immutable, it's coming, and it grows in significant scale every year. And it affects everything we do um, in, in all people in the world. So they've always been important, but, but in some ways they're more urgent today than they've ever been. If you go back to when we first created them, we had time. AI wasn't invented yet and didn't seem real for decades. Climate was here, but it wasn't having the kind of physical risks we were seeing we're seeing today. The world was beginning to fall apart, but hadn't really fractured in the way it has fractured. Demography was arriving, but, but, but we didn't have the huge movements into retirement or people entering the workforce in, in the younger countries in the world. So, so the consequence is they were here, we had to plan for them, but, but they weren't urgent. The tidal waves hit the shore, and because it hit the shore, if we don't address them now, we create massive challenges for ourselves on a global scale. So they matter more than anything, really, because um, if we don't address them, we're really, really, really in trouble, and if we do, it can be a pretty cool world to live in. The thing you have to recognize is that while every trend in its own right really matters, they actually mutually reinforce and affect each other. And so you can't say, I'm going to take this one on and forget the other. So let's take a few examples. It turns out that climate and technology and a fractured world and demography hurt those least well off the most. So you could say, I don't really want to deal with the social issues, but if you don't address the social issues, then you actually won't have the mandate to address the others. There's a debate going on in the world about can we really address climate because the northern hemisphere countries benefited from creating a crisis and the rest are being left behind. Is that really fair? I can't address climate and not deal with the social inequity question. I can't address technology and not deal with the climate question because it turns out if I have the technology in place but, but I can't live in the world, who cares? Right? And it turns out I can't address the climate question without using the capacity of technology. None of that is easy to do in a fractured world. And, and, and the challenge in a fractured world is a particularly acute one because it's not just fractured between nations, which makes it hard to do things. It's fractured within nations. We can't get agreement. And it's hard to build things if you can't get agreement. We need to build things for climate. It's hard to actually introduce things um, if, we, if we can actually get the technology to happen. It's hard to address the challenges of the world getting older if we don't have the ability to agree with ourselves. And, and what happens is, because of the crisis issues those create, it fractures us even further. So what you have is a mutually reinforcing system where each piece is important in its own right, but it causes really interesting feedback effects on the other parts of the system. So the consequence is you can begin with one of the trends you need to address, but you've got to address all the others at the same time. They become a condition on the feasibility and success of the answer you come up with.